All right, good morning uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is Henry Simons. I am the Assistant City Manager of Operations, of course, for the City of Columbia. And we'd like to welcome you and thank you, of course, for your presence uh, here today as we celebrate the new amenities here at Owens Field, Field Park. Um, thank you to our mayor, Steve Benjamin, our city council members present with us today, of course, Councilman Brennan, uh, who represents this district, also Councilman Duvall, thank y'all so much uh, for your presence uh, on today. I also want to, of course, acknowledge our city manager, uh, Teresa Wilson, uh, for all of her continued leadership and guidance uh, throughout this process on all the pro projects that we facilitate uh, through Parks and Recreation. Uh, this ribbon cutting uh, today is a continuous result of the good work that's been going on for the last several months. Uh, the new bicycle pump track, which of course is directly behind me, is a great addition to the Owensville Park and complements the existing skate park and the other amenities within the park. The pump track is a bicycle course featuring rolling hills and berms that vary in height and frequency and designed for all skill levels. Uh, the track surface is asphalt, and one lap on the course equals 0.2 miles. This project was made possible through our partnership with the South Carolina Parks and Recreation and Tourism, who provided a grant in the amount of $95,900, excuse me, through the Recreation Trails Program. A match provided by the City of Columbia placed the total at almost $128,000, and we're certainly excited about, about that. The project also includes a new large uh, seating bench, water fountain, uh, bike station, trash receptacles, bike racks, and landscaping amenities that includes irrigation. We are certainly delighted with the progress that we've made here at Owensville Park. This is certainly another amenity that our children and their families will truly enjoy. Uh, so thank you all so much uh, for your presence on today. And now at this time, I'm gonna pass it off to Councilman Will Brennan for some additional remarks. Councilman. How about it? What a beautiful day in the Rosewood, South Kilburn and Edisto Court community here in Columbia. It's great to see so many uh, active folks this morning uh, here to help us celebrate the uh, official opening of the Owens Field Bicycle Pump Track you know, I got to tell you, riding bikes at Owens Field looks a, a lot different from way back in the 80s when my grandpa Joe would bring me up here to ride bikes. This pump track is awesome. It is awesome. Uh, now, as many of you, you know and remember, the grand opening was delayed by just a little bit. Uh, but I can confirm this wonderful outdoor city of Columbia Park amenity saw a ton of use over the last year. You know, during COVID, Many of us were reminded of, of the pleasures of being outdoors and exercising. And residents from all over the Midlands came to enjoy this pump track. We are very lucky to have Owens Field Park here in District 3. I want to take a moment and I want to thank Mayor Benjamin and my city council colleagues for their support of this park. From the Miracle League field to the skate park to the disc golf course, to the nature trails and more. Our little slice of outdoor heaven here in the Rosewood communities is truly a treasure for, for all of our city residents to enjoy. Looking to the future, I also wanna thank our future mayor and my future city council colleagues, whoever they may be, for their future support, for seeing the master plan for our Owens Field Park continue. This bicycle pump track is a great example of how our city parks and recreation staff identified and pursued state funding to help with this project. To our wonderful team at the City of Columbia Parks and Recreation Department, thank you for thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box on how to help improve our parks and I look forward to pursuing more funding for future projects here at Owens Field. Thank you and ride safe. Good morning. Uh, it's great to see everyone today. I'm Mike Ely, Vice President of the Rosewood Community Council. 
Rosewood has been excited about this project since we first heard about it. Uh, and the pump track has been a wonderful addition to the park and the neighborhood over the past year. I'd like to give a special thank you to Columbia Parks and Rec. Uh, we had a brainstorming meeting over at uh, Edison Court about three years ago when the idea of a pump track came up. Uh, Parks and Rec really ran with the idea, got the grant for the funding, helped design the track, and the end product turned out better than any of us imagined. It's been a wonderful project. Thank you so much for your hard work on this project. Uh, the pump track has quickly become one of the main highlights of the park. It's amazing to see all the people using the pump track, young and old, bikes, skateboards, scooters, roller skates, runners. Uh, we had envisioned it for bikes, but <laughs> if you build it, they will come. We've had a great use of it. The track really has been a great use of funds that's reached a wide spectrum of our community and all over the Midlands. We've seen people from Lexington, Irmo, Lake Carolina, come to the park just to use the pump track. Uh, we hope that City of Columbia can build more pump tracks to fill that demand actually around the, around the city. Lastly, I'd like to thank the City of Columbia for working so closely with Rosewood Community Council on this project. It's been a great collaboration from beginning to end, and we're looking forward to working with the city on more projects in Rosewood in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mike, for your, for your comments. And uh, it is certainly a awesome amenity here at Owens Field, and we're just excited about the future uh, of expanding the master plan as, as Councilman uh, Brennan has shared. Let me take a moment to, again, acknowledge a few people. Of course, Mike, who was just before you, thank him for uh, his leadership and guidance and, and support from a community perspective. We also want to thank uh, Neil Hamilton, uh, our state, tra state trails coordinator for the South Carolina Parks and Recreation and Ter Terrorism. Uh, we also want to thank our Parks and Recreation leadership team, as uh, we, we talked about earlier, uh, led by Mr. Randy Davis, who's the Director of Parks and Recreation, of course. We have Todd Martin, who's with us today, our project manager, and no, none of these things uh, would be possible without their hard work and dedication uh, to the work for the citizens of our community. So we're grateful for their support, uh, their leadership, and their passion about uh, what we want to see in our parks throughout the City of Columbia. Uh, we also want to acknowledge uh, our Parks and Rec Foundation as well for their continued guidance and support on all the initiatives that take place around the city. Uh, we're forever grateful for everyone coming together, ensuring that our children as well as our young adults have an opportunity to continue to play and play in a safe manner. So we're grateful. So now at this time, we're gonna move into the actual ribbon cutting ceremony. And as we, as we do that, uh, we'll have an opportunity if, if needed to take some additional interviews uh, after the ceremony. So thank you so much uh, for your presence on today. <laughs> 